In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. Amen. Let us prepare ourselves to take part in this Holy Eucharist. I confess to Almighty God, Amen. my God, my God, my God, my God, through my faults, through my faults, through my earthly faults. Therefore, I ask to bless Mary, every virgin, all the angels and saints, and to my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive our sins, and bring us an everlasting life. God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you 
in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. Who can know God's counsel? Or who can conceive what the Lord intends? For the deliberations of mortals are timid and unsure are our plans. For the corruptible body burdens the soul and the earthen shelter weighs down the mind that has many concerns. And scarce do we guess the things on earth and what is within our grasp we find with difficulty. But when things are in heaven, who can search them out? Or who ever knew your counsel except you had given wisdom and sent your Holy Spirit from on high? And thus were the paths of those on earth made straight. The word of the Lord. of man for a thousand years in your sight are as yesterday now that it is past or as a watch of the night in every Make an end of them in their sleep. The next morning they are like the changing grass, which at dawn springs up anew, but by evening wilts and fades. In every Teach us to number our days aright, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Return, O Lord, how long? Have pity on your servants. In every age, O Lord, you have been. Fill us at daybreak with your kindness, that we may shout for joy and gladness all our days. And may the gracious care of the Lord our God be ours. Prosper the work of our hands for us. Prosper the work of our hands. In every Lectura de la Carta de Pablo a Filemón Querido hermano, yo, Pablo, ya anciano y ahora además prisionero por la causa de Cristo Jesús, quiero pedirte algo en favor de Onésimo, mi hijo, a quien entre engendrado para Cristo aquí en la cárcel. Te lo envío, recíbelo como a mí mismo. Yo hubiera querido retenerlo conmigo para que en tu lugar me atendiera mientras estoy preso por la causa del Evangelio. Pero no, no he querido hacer nada sin tu consentimiento para que el favor que me haces no sea como por obligación, 
sino por tu propia voluntad. Tal vez él fue apartado de ti por un breve tiempo, al fin de que lo recuperaras para siempre. Pero ya no como esclavo, sino como algo mejor que un esclavo, como hermano amadísimo. Él ya no lo es para mí. Cuanto más habrá de serlo para ti, no solo por su calidad de hombre, sino de hermano en Cristo. Por tanto, si me consideras como compañero tuyo, recíbelo como a mí mismo. Palabra de Dios. Let your face shine upon your servant and teach me your laws. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Great crowds were traveling with Jesus, and he turned and addressed them. If anyone comes to me without hating his father and mother, wife and children, brothers and sisters, and even his own life, he cannot be my disciple. Whoever does not carry his own cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. Which of you wishing to construct a tower does not first sit down and cal calculate the cost to see if there is enough for its completion. Otherwise, after laying the foundation and finding himself unable to finish the work, the onlookers should laugh at him and say, this one began to build but did not have the resource to finish. Or what king marching into battle would not first sit down and decide whether with the 10,000 troops he can successfully oppose another king, advancing upon him with the 20,000 troops. But if not, while he is still far away, he will send a delegation to ask for peace terms. In the same way, any one of you who does not renounce all his possessions cannot be my disciple. Holy Gospel of the Lord, the Lord Jesus Christ. Before I start my homily, I have a few funny questions. So I decided to ask you all. Is it okay if I ask? Sure. Very good. So what do you call crying sister in short form? What do you call crying sister in short form? What do you call crying sister in short form? Somebody is saying yes. Yeah. <laughs> what do you call crisis? Yeah, short form crisis. Yeah, I have one more question. Yeah. What is the oldest animal in the kingdom of animals? What is the oldest animal in the kingdom of animals? It is a good example, you know? Yeah. So what is the oldest animal in the kingdom of animals? Somebody is telling snake because it is there in the Bible. <laughs> but not the snake. My funny question is different. So what is the oldest animal in the kingdom of animals? It is the zebra. Why? Because it has got black and white lines. Yeah, so, so that's why, that is the oldest one. 
in, in the olden days we had a black and white tv so now <laughs> yeah that is the old days yeah now let me start my homily today church invite us to contemplate on the spirit of commitment and self sacrifice of christ the spirit of self sacrifice motivates us to do the unimaginable the spirit made jesus give up everything including his own life for our sake so through this same spirit we can become true disciple of christ today's first reading draws our attention to the depth of the wisdom he alone knows his intentions for humanity however god has fully revealed this intention in christ who sacrificed himself willingly to save us so it is the spirit of wisdom that help us to penetrate the mystery of god's intention revealed in christ in this way this mystery becomes spirit and life for us in the second reading saint paul sent back onesimus to philomen in the spirit of sacrifice though paul needed onesimus and he had every right to retain him he returned to his former master philomen who equally needed him philomen also had to sacrifice something he has to drop all his misgiving against onesimus so saint paul encouraged him to receive onesimus as a brother rather than a slave paul teaches that we can equally sacrifice our comfort in order to reestablish peace and we must be ready to make some sacrifice to restore relationships in today's gospel jesus invites us to imbibe his spirit of commitment and sacrifice in order to be his true disciples he says if any man comes to me without hating his father mother wife and his own life too he cannot be my disciples what does christ mean by hating he teaches and calls us to make a sacrifice and commit to our missions christ is not literally calling us to hate the members of our family to be his disciples he loved and obeyed his parents also his mother mary was one of his first and best disciples so we too must love members of our family he is not any way preaching the gospel of hatred instead he wants us to be more committed to his ministry he wants us to be willing to sacrifice our comfort for the sake of god commitment and sacrifice help us to give up anything to gain all it it disposes us to be better disciple of christ it help us to be better husbands wives parents it also help us to deepen our trust in god's divine protection so we can confidently proclaim oh lord you have been my refuge from one generation to the next let us all stand and profess our faith i believe in one god for almighty maker of heaven and earth all things visible and invisible i believe in one lord jesus christ the only begotten son of god born of the father before all ages god from god light from light true god from true god begotten not made conception with the father through him all things were made for us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven and by the holy spirit was incarnate of the virgin mary and became man for our sake he was crucified under pontius pilate he suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures he ascended into heaven and he is seated at the right hand of the father 
he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end i believe in the holy spirit the lord the giver of life who proceeds from the father and the son who with the father and son is adored and glorified who has spoken through the prophets i believe in one holy catholic and apostolic church i confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins and i look forward to the resurrection of the dead in the life of the world to come amen yes we present our needs to god let us ask first of all for the gift of wisdom and let us trust in his power to answer all our prayers that by word and example church leaders may inspire the faithful to bear their crosses each day with patience and fidelity to the gospel we pray to the lord for all who have repented of the sin of abortion may be given the grace to forgive those who pressured them or failed to help them we pray to the lord that all in the church may heed the words and example of saint teresa of calcutta of calcutta who defended the human dignity of all born and unborn we pray to the lord for those who are making career choices that they may find wisdom foresight and trust in god's providence we pray to the lord for all our grandparents that they may find joy in their grandchildren and pass along to them the wisdom of the word of god we pray to the lord bless the church of st anthony's by raising up dedicated and generous leaders from our families and friends who will serve your people sisters priests brothers deacons and lay ministers we pray to the lord for all who have died especially Tom Sinclair, Esther Vasquez, Adelaide Agostini, Gussie Cabral and Ida Torres, the MRPS deceased members, Manuel and Fernanda Silva, that they may be welcomed into the eternal life of Christ, the best of prayer us. We pray to the Lord for the special intentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord Let us pray. Lord, in your providence, you know all our needs. Yet you want us to worship you as the one in whom those needs are met. Hear our prayers and give us joy and peace in your presence. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Pray to the praise and glory of His name for our good and good of all the church. O God, who gives us the gift of true prayer and peace, graciously grant that through these offerings we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty, and by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God through Christ our Lord. 
for out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours he humbled himself and was born of the virgin by the passion of the cross he freed us from unending death and by rising from the dead he gave us life eternal and so with angels and archangels with thrones and dominions and with all the hosts and powers of heaven we sing the hymn of your glory as without the end we acclaim You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At that time he was betrayed, and he entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, and giving thanks, broke it. and gave to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith save us savior of the world for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with our pope francis and our bishop marian cota all the clergy remember also brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection all we have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god with the blessed joseph our spouse with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be coherent to eternal life and we praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ through him and with him and in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever at the savior's command and formed by divine teaching and we dare to say our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven 
give us this job deliberate and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from every evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ lord jesus christ who said you apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will who lives and reigns forever and ever the peace of the lord be with you always let us offer each other the sign of peace Lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us Lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to receive unto my life, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. <clears throat> Grant that you are faithful, O Lord, whom you nourished and endowed with life through the food of your word and the heavenly sacrament. May so benefit from your beloved son's greatest gifts that we may merit an eternal share in his life. who lives and reigns forever and ever Amen. please be seated <coughs> harvest festival our annual harvest festival is less than 2 weeks away september 16th 17th and 18th items are needed for the live action volunteers are also still needed please contact jennifer or kriyagi asin for more information we only have 50 tickets left don't miss your chance to win 10000 dollars we will be selling tickets after mass in the vestibule beginning this month in addition to saturday confessions there will be confessions every friday at 7 pm 
during holy hour this friday's holy hour will be for children and families all ages are welcome the children will be invited to bring a flower for jesus and kneel close to him in the blessed sacrament our ferris office and the chapel will be closed this monday september 5th in observance of labor day the knights of columbus and the vocation ministry would like to invite you to um, get to know your priest mixer on september 9th from 8 pm to 9:30 pm in the cafeteria the event is open to all parishioners that are 21 and older admission and drinks are free this month of september the legion of mary will be handing out donuts after the 7 am and 8:45 am masses outside the front vestibule please join us yeah let us all stand for final blessing the lord be with you may the almighty god bless you all father son and the holy spirit mass is ended go in peace of christ thank you all have a blessed evening sorry i have i forgot to announce one of the our altar server esbella she celebrates her birthday today let us her wish her happy birthday to you happy birthday to you happy birthday to you happy birthday to you thank you thank you Come dance in the forest, come play in the field, and sing, sing to the glory of the Lord. Sing.